few kilometers back in Waiga Canyon, the last of the lead teams find themselves in a precarious situation. In the normal circumstances, you don't want to go into the canyon in the rain because the level rises and the speed of the water is getting larger and larger all the time. It was intense because you had to watch your every step and then the water started dramatically to rise and uh, then there was nothing to hold on to. We realized that if we get loose, then we get swept away downstream. We decided to camp out and uh, decide what to do. In the beginning, the canyon was manageable. In a half an hour, water rose and, uh, and now we are kind of stranded here. We can't go back and we can't go forward. It's about five o'clock and I've been following the Estonian team, so they've set up a tent, but I think mm, there's, there aren't any other teams coming up because it's just gotten too dangerous, so uh, we may have to spend the night here. Race management has been tracking team Estonian Aces GPS transponder and a centre chopper to offer assistance. for the guys with the two green bags. We require a rescue. Do we need assistance or not? Yeah, do we need assistance or do you want to try to... No, uh, we can try, but it's, maybe it's not raining again. This is Pablo, I'm with Team Estonia, and we cannot get to GT11 because it is too dangerous, so we spend the night so the water levels go down. At that point, we weren't in a dangerous place, and... Uh, uh, we choose not to airlift lift us out of there, but uh, but uh, to just leave us there and uh, and wait it out. They were just taking shelter under their under their tarp, very relaxed, no waving or anything. They just gave the thumbs up. After that, so we'll stand down on the helicopter rest. Standing down. The bad weather has forced our hand, and a tough decision has to be made. OK, thanks, guys. Well done gathering, everyone. So we are going to stop the race for a few hours whilst these storm conditions are coming and going because we've got people spread out in ravines, on oceans, on rivers, in jungle. And if the weather that goes the wrong way, it can turn into a disaster super fast. So they get to the next checkpoint. They're going to be stopped down there. 4 a.m., we reassess everything, and 90% Lightly, and everyone just continues on. Yeah. OK, good. Till, till 4 o'clock, no more moving. Yeah. A brief pause in the rain has given them a small window of escape. Unaware of the course shut down, Silva and his team are going to attempt to improve their position and maybe even escape the rising waters. Obviously, it's a dangerous situation right now. But this is, uh, yeah, this is eco challenge. Uh, nature kicks in, it kicks in hard. 